Hello friends, welcome to MS Optic Upcast. In this video, we will look at how to implement storage space in Windows Server 2016. Storage space is a storage virtualization feature built into Windows Server 2016 OS. The storage space feature consists of two components. First, storage pool. A storage pool is a collection of one or more physical disks that you can use to create virtual disks. You can add one or more available non-formatted physical disk to create a storage pool. But remember, you can attach a physical disk to only one storage pool at a time. Second component is a storage space. Storage space is virtual disk created from free space in a storage pool. The primary advantage of storage space is that you no longer need to manage a single disk. Instead, you can manage them as a one unit. And these virtual disks are equivalent of a logical unit number on a SAN. If you want to add physical disk to a storage pool, there are some requirements like Minimum one physical disk is required to create a storage pool. At least two physical disks are required to create a resilient mirror virtual disk. At least three physical disks are required to create a virtual disk with resiliency through parity. At least five physical disks are required for three-way mirroring. All hard disks must be blank and unformatted, which means no volume can exist on the disk. So let's do it on this Windows Server 2016 computer. First of all, you have to open Server Manager and on a Server Manager dashboard, click on File and Storage Services and then click on Storage Pool. Our first step is to create one storage pool and on the Storage Pool tab, Click on drop down menu on the upper right corner and then select new storage pool. That will open a configuration wizard. Click on next on that wizard. Here you have to specify the name of storage pool. And for this demonstration, I'm going to give a name test pool one. Click on next. It will ask you to select physical disk for storage pool. For this demonstration, we'll be selecting first two 200 GB SATA hard disk. We will combine these two disks and create one storage pool. Now under allocation, we have a several options like automatic, hot spare and manual. We are going to select automatic options and then we are clicking on next button. Now review your selection and then click on create to create storage pool. Ok, storage pool has been created successfully on this computer. Let's click on close to close this wizard. Now here we can see our newly created storage pool will be displayed under storage pools. Name test pool 1. Here we can see type is storage pool managed by this computer and the total capacity is 400 GB. Now we have a one storage pool but no logical disk that runs on it. So let's create the virtual disk on newly created storage pool. You can start a new virtual disk wizard by selecting our storage pool, then right click on it and select new virtual disk. Select our storage pool, in our case that is a test pool 1 and then click on OK. Let's click on next. Now here you have to specify the name of your virtual disk. For this demonstration, I'm going to give name vdisk1. Click on next, click on next again. Now here. We have to select the storage layout options for the demonstration and going to select simple. In simple virtual disk, data is striped across physical disk and does not provide fault tolerance. With the two disk and storage pool, you can select a mirror layout, a sort of virtual red one, while with more drives, we suggest to use parity mode. In future videos, we will create mirror and parity virtual disk for fault tolerance. But for this demonstration, we are selecting simple layout and then we are going to click on next. Now on this console, it is asked you to specify provisioning type. Here we have a total two options, thin and fix. In thin provisioning, the volume use space from the storage pool as needed up to the volume size. And in fixed provisioning, the volume use space from the storage pool equal to the volume size which you allocate at the time of virtual disk creation. For this demonstration, we are going to select thin and then I am going to click on next. Now here, it is ask you to specify the size of new virtual disk. For this demonstration, I am going to keep a size 100 GB. 
let's click on next now let's click on create to create new virtual disk on our storage pool disk pool 1 so as you can see new virtual disk has been created successfully on our windows server 2016 computer now this box is by default selected create a volume when this wizard close let's clear the checkbox and then let's click on close so now we have a one virtual disk but we didn't create any volume on that virtual disk so let's create one new volume on our newly created vdisk1 virtual disk let's right click on it and select new volume let's click on next now here you can select the disk on which you want to create a new volume we want to create on our virtual disk that's why i'm going to select disk 4 virtual disk of vdisk1 click on next now here i'm going to specify size 50 GB and then I'm going to click on next now here you have to specify the drive letter I'm going with the default drive selection drive letter E and then I'm going to click on next now here you have to specify the file system to format the newly created volume for this demonstration I'm going to select REFS and then I'm going to click on next now let's click on create to create a new volume on our VDisk1 Now let's click on close to close this wizard and let's open file explorer. Under file explorer click on this PC and here you can see our newly created volume with the size of 50 GB. So this is the way how we can implement storage space in Windows Server 2016. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.